Hi, I'm Mark Jacobson with an MGM Minute for the week of January 13th, 2020, coming to you from Luxor on the Las Vegas Strip. Here's what's happening across MGM Resorts International. College football fans from across the country will flock to MGM Resorts properties this week for the 2020 National Championship game. The game kicks off Monday with the matchup between Clemson and LSU. The highly anticipated event is expected to drive plenty of action to MGM's retail sportsbooks in Las Vegas as well as regionally in Mississippi and New Jersey. The same can be said for the new online Yahoo Sportsbook, which is powered by BetMGM as well as the new BetMGM app. Without a doubt, this has proven to be the most active college football postseason yet for all of MGM Resort's sports betting platforms. Next up, March Madness. Shifting gears now, the 2020 Consumer Electronics Show made quite the splash across Las Vegas last week, bringing in more than 175,000 attendees to the Strip. BetMGM and MGM Resort's sports betting initiatives and sports technology offerings were a point of discussion throughout the CES Sports Zone, which was held at MGM's Aria Resort. The Sports Zone was home to several sports betting panel discussions, including one headlined by Scott Butera, MGM's president of Interactive Gaming. During the session, Butera shared his thoughts on how MGM is helping to shape the industry as it continues its unprecedented growth. Bet MGM, you know, our apps in the states that we're rolling out in, uh, the partnerships that we're creating, Buffalo Wild Wings, Yahoo, they're all here. Uh, we're all working together as one cohesive unit, and I think the sky's the limit for BetMGM. Another highlight to share from CES, MGM Resorts President and COO Bill Hornbuckle joined Verizon Media Group Executive Vice President and CEO Guru Gorapin for a fireside chat hosted by Variety. The two discussed the game-changing partnership between MGM Resorts, BetMGM, and Yahoo Sports. Late last year, the deal made BetMGM the exclusive sportsbook provider of Yahoo Sports, bringing the MGM experience to Yahoo's 60 million monthly online users. In other news, Las Vegas may have a reputation for excess and non-stop entertainment, but it's a new decade, and what happens in Vegas no longer stays in Vegas. Fortune magazine published commentary from MGM Resorts chairman and CEO Jim Murren outlining how MGM Resorts and other Las Vegas Strip-based companies are increasingly stepping up as responsible global citizens. The piece, which can be found online, outlines what major Las Vegas Strip resorts, including MGM, have accomplished over the past decade, from innovative food waste solutions and groundbreaking responsible gambling programs to major investments in renewable energy. The future is looking bright for the great city of Las Vegas. MGM is the leader in the industry for diversity and inclusion, social impact, sustainability, and community engagement. It's really a tremendous opportunity and a source of pride for us to lead the way for the industry through our workforce, through our suppliers, um, tapping into the incredible work and thoughts and ideas of our customers and our guests. And finally, out on the East Coast, MGM's Empire City Casino and Yonkers Raceway's Police Benevolent Association helped bring in the new year in a rather special way. The organization donated $45,000 to a pair of Westchester, New York area children's charities. Gifts of $22,500 went to both Make-A-Wish Hudson Valley and Blythdale's Children's Hospital, ensuring that 2020 will be brighter for some very deserving kids. Empire City has 105 uniformed peace officers on duty, all committed to ensuring the safety of guests at the Raceway and Casino. And for more information about any of these events and happenings, feel free to contact us at media at mgmresorts.com. Have a great week.